welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a post review for this really cute kit from Diamond Art Club. This is Warm Witch. The artist is Ivy Dolamore. It is a 56 by 74 centimeter round drill kit. There were 40 colors with four charted ABs. Um, this is a <laughs> very common very, very common kit. A lot of people work on it this time of year. I believe it came out last, like, the end of the summer 2021. And it had been one that I wanted, but I ended up putting it on my wish list at the time, and then it was out of stock. So when I saw it come back, uh, I think it actually went in and out of stock a couple of times. So when I saw it come back, I believe it was maybe like June or July? I don't remember. I did an unboxing, but when I saw it come back in stock, I knew that I wanted to work on it this year for the Festival of Witches, so I did grab it. Um, I'm not sure if it's in stock right now. I'll leave a link down below to Diamond Art Club. Um, I do just want to mention that it is an affiliate link, so if you were to go there and be placing your first like it's a referral link and if you use the code that's there as well on your first purchase you get a percentage off and then I make a small commission from that. I don't mention it all the time in the videos because I do have people that use it which is amazing thank you um, but I know that there are better codes out there with like the people that get sneak peeks from Diamond Art Club so I'm sure that they have a lot more traffic on their codes but I did want to mention it. Um, I don't receive free products from Diamond Art Club um, so you can be assured that everything I say <laughs> is, uh, the truth. I don't sugarcoat it. So let's get into this post review. I don't, like I said, I don't always bring that stuff up, but I do like to occasionally just mention to you guys, just as a little reminder, or if you're new here, that I am pretty candid with my thoughts and opinions on all diamond painting companies. Um, I've had some really great experiences with Diamond Art Club and I've had some not so great experiences with Diamond Art Club and that's just the nature of a company. Not everything is perfect all the time. So let's move on from that. <laughs> this kit, for the most part, I had a really great experience on. I thoroughly enjoyed working on it. Um, I think that it's rendered really beautifully. Um, I did enjoy the pretty, I would call it pretty much 50-50 color blocking spots and the confetti. So this bottom section here, um, it looks like a lot of line work and it is in some spots, but there was more confetti than I was expecting. I did finish this one rather quickly. It took me about a week to work up. Um, but I was a little surprised, like the window here, there's also another one where there's a black cat. There's a little piece of a window there. Um, that was pretty confetti heavy. There was also this little teapot has a lot of colors in it. Um, but then you get up here towards this large window here, and that was a lot of color blocking, a lot of white and lighter colors. So I did really enjoy um, the actual like diamond painting. <laughs> um, the the charting was really great. There weren't any things that I thought were weird. Although I will mention that this little area down here, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be, but um, this little area I've seen quite a few people working on this kit this year, and I feel like this color is different in some of the kits. Um, I can't remember who I saw on Instagram. This charting here looked more like it was supposed to be, I don't know, theirs looked more of a, like a burgundy, where mine is a brown. And I actually pulled up the, some of the drills to make sure I hadn't laid down their own color, but I didn't. So my symbol matched my case in um, in my storage and I had used the right color. So I don't really know if obviously different dye lots are a thing in diamond painting. So maybe they had an older version of the kit and this is a newer one. I'm not quite sure, but I did want to mention that. So if you have this kit and you feel like your color in that bottom corner looks different from mine, I I don't know why. It just seems to be a thing. I would be interested to know 
um, <clears throat> if there was an older run, like if the original release was different from the one that I have, but I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Um, my, <laughs> I did run out of a drill color, which was completely my fault. I actually <laughs> lost an entire jar of 3778 and it, it, I just, I spilt it all over and I have cats. So there's cat hair and there's little pieces of cat litter hanging around our house and it just wasn't worth it to me to save those drills. So before I got rid of them, I did look in my spare drill stash and I did have a bag of 3778. Um, however, let me just grab it here. My bag is a mixture of a few different colors. Hopefully you can see that. So there's like more of a pinky tone and more of a tan tone. Now, when these are in the bag, you can clearly see the difference. But when you lay them out in the tray, they looked very similar. So at one point, I was trying really hard to pick out the appropriate color. The color in the kit was more along the lines of this like tanner as opposed to this pink color. But as I was kind of moving up through the kit, I had really large areas of this color, so I just started multi-placing. So my, the skin tone on her may be a little off, um, just because I have different colors, but as I'm looking at it, I honestly cannot tell the difference. I know that it looks like a pretty stark difference in this baggie, but looking at it, I don't see that it looks strange. Just wanted to mention that. Um, but there were a few colors that I felt like I was running quite low on, um, which kind of goes along with something I've been saying since Simon Art Club has released their newer rounds. I just feel like we don't get as many extra drills, um, which I mean, for people that have been diamond painting like myself that save their drills, it's not the end of the world. And Diamond Art Club has a really great, um, what do they call it? Uh, o insurance or something. I can't remember. They have a really great um insurance on their canvas if you do run out of colors they will send them to you without an issue um but since i had some i know these are diamond art club drills um i just went with what i had in my stash kind of a tangent there um i really enjoyed the color palette now i know that it's probably kind of boring to some like it's very neutral so lots of browns and beiges and blacks um but this kind of really kickstarted my autumn mood. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling the autumn vibes at this point. We've had a couple of cooler days and it's been amazing. Um, and this really kickstarted that. Like I can't wait to just be cozy with a hot chocolate or something like that. Um, so I did enjoy it for that reason. This was my first kit for the Festival of Witches, I believe I already said. Um, I did add a couple of things to this, but we'll talk about that in a second. I just want to talk about something that I found a little disappointing with this kit, and that was the drill field itself. Now, it was completely legible. It wasn't like an issue with symbol clarity or anything like that. But with some of these newer kits, I feel like the poured glue, so the adhesive that's laid down on the kit, is not as strong as it used to be. Now, I have been working on some older Diamond Art Clubs um, the last couple of months, and I I, I, um, I know this is like a hot take, but I wholeheartedly prefer the older Diamond Art Club kits just because I felt like we got so many spare drills if the quality was off, which I understand that they're, they have, according to them, upped their quality of drills. Um, so they feel like they don't need to send as much possibly. I don't know that for sure. They haven't said that, but, and maybe we got an abundance of extra drills in the older kits because the drill quality wasn't as high. Again, according to them, <laughs> I still prefer the old rounds and squares. It's just completely personal preference. Um, but I feel like the newer kits, I don't want to say that they're disappointing because Diamond Art 
disappointing because Diamond Art Club is still like top notch in my opinion. They are the company that I have the most diamond paintings from. They're the company that I look forward to the most to see what their new releases are. Um, they're still like it for me, but I do feel like some of the quality has changed and maybe it's just been a, you know, like an adjustment period, but I do find that the adhesive is not what it used to be. I don't know if they've changed or if they just had kind of a run that was not as good or up to par with what they normally have. But I have been a little disappointed with the poured glue. Um, I just feel like my drills don't stick. I can't get them off of my drill pen, whether it be my single placer or my multi placer. Um, I'll lay it down, you know, I'll put my multi-placer down and then I'll go to kind of pick it up and I kind of pick my, do I have a pen? I feel like this is a bit of a tangent, but when I lay my multi-placer down, I'll lay it down and then I like to kind of like rock it back to me. Um, I like to multi-place vertically, so I like to kind of lay it down and then rock back to pick it up. And a lot of the times for this kit, all of my drills would still be on my multi-placer and that's just frustrating to me um but i will say that that's really the only thing that kind of irked me with this one and it wasn't the entire kit necessarily it was kind of isolated to a few areas um i will say i cannot remember who it was on instagram i'm so sorry but they had put up a story that they were working on this kit and the adhesive was even worse than it was for me and Diamond Art Club actually completely replaced the kit so I'm wondering if it's isolated to this kit itself I mean I have experienced it with other kits that I've worked on but not necessarily to this level it kind of made this a little bit more frustrating to work on um and it probably took me a little bit longer because of that but if you're a single placer, you probably <laughs> won't even notice. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, those are my like thoughts. I, I did enjoy it, but the adhesive itself was kind of a bit of a damper on the process, in my opinion. Um, I haven't put up a, I don't think I've put up a full image. You're getting most of it here on the screen, but I will pop up a um, you know, distant from above image so that you can see what it looks like in its entirety. Um, I think it's a really beautiful image. Um, this is the only piece I have from Ivy Dolomore. I definitely need to check out um, her items. Some of her, her style isn't necessarily for me, but there are some others that she's released that I do enjoy. So uh, let's talk about the changes that I made to this one. I did add one sparkler and one AB. Let me grab them. All right, so here's the sparkler and the AB is right here. So there were four ABs charted in this kit and most of them are in, I don't know what you would call this, like the magic, magical aura. <laughs> um, most of them are in there. There was a white, a yellow, an orange, and... Oh, that really beautiful, um, oh wait, I guess it wasn't white. Let me look. I'm sorry. Um, okay. There was a like tan color. My new favorite AB is 125. Here they are. So we have this color here, this like minty white 125, my new favorite AB. And then we have two shades of orange. So most of these were in the magical aura, um, but I did want to add in another color. So there was, um, what color was that? I'm looking, I think I marked it. So 38.55 was also, in this area here but it was just a regular drill and i decided that i wanted all of this all of the little magical 
spot to be ABs. So I didn't have the AB for that particular color, but I thought that this one was pretty close. This is 739 AB. And this is one of those little samplers from diamondpaintingdrills.com. So there was plenty in here and I have quite a bit left over. Um, I just, again, I just wanted this to be completely blinged out. I thought it just kind of suited what it's supposed to represent. And then I also added a sparkler from DP with Sparklers. This is Moonstone, one of my favorites, although they have just come out with a bunch of new sparklers. I really need to place an order. Um, I added this to all of the green areas. Now, I didn't completely replace the green that was charted, um, but I did sprinkle this in. So the color I used it in place of was 3346. You can kind of see that in its darkest spots, it does kind of read similar to this color. So you will find that in some of the grass here in the windows, but mostly in this vine on this area here. You can kind of see it. It kind of picks up with my light just a little bit, and I think it just added some really pretty sparkle to that area. Moonstone is, like I said, one of my favorite sparklers. Um, I think that's everything I had to say. Let me just reference my notes. Um, yeah, that was everything. Okay, so let me show you what I had for trash, which I left over here. Look at this little witch's cauldron. I cannot remember the name of this shop off the top of my head. Um, I've had this for probably at least a year at this point. Um, but it is an Etsy shop and she does, I believe, still have them in stock. So I will link them down below. But isn't this just the cutest little trash container? <laughs> so not much trash. I was pretty happy with that. You can see though that the trash I did have was a lot with holes on the top. Um, that's kind of become a standard with Diamond Art Club's new rounds. Um, it, it is what it is. I mean, I was pretty impressed with just that teeny tiny amount. The kit I finished before this had like, oops, I just spilled some, almost an entire tray itself <laughs> full of trash. So I was very pleased with, with this kit in that respect. Now, let me show you guys my accessories and then... I will let you go. All right, let me just pull everything out. I feel a little scatterbrained in today's video, so I apologize for that. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel a little weird. It's been a while since I've filmed anything because I, I pre-filmed a bunch of stuff, so I feel a little random. So I showed you these special drills. Um, for my washi tape, I used this really cool holographic silver from Scotch on my containers. And I used this one here from Amanda Michelle Designs for the canvas itself. I actually just placed an order with her and I ordered another roll of this because I got pretty low. I love that tape. My tray is from Muni Made. This is one of her older models. Um, it's one of her jewel tones. I love these ones. And my pen that goes perfectly with this tray is this hybrid. There are pine cones in there. Um, this is from, they were Brewers Custom Turning, something like that on Facebook but they have recently opened an Etsy shop and I believe they're now under the name of Mountain Inspirations, but it's like MNT Inspirations. I'll link them down below as well. Um, I have a few pens from them and they're really beautiful. I've yet to purchase from their Etsy shop, but um, I'm excited to see that they have one. So I will definitely be checking them out soon. My minder is this really adorable kitty. I liked the green. I thought it matched everything else. This is from Grandma Girl Designs on Etsy. And I used my putty from Randa's Crafty Corner. This is Fall Farmhouse. This is one from last fall. 
This smells exactly like, let me get it one more. This, there's actually a fall farmhouse candle from Bath and Body Works and this smells a lot like that. And then in my single placer, I just used micro glue dots. So and that is everything for this kit. Really happy I was able to complete it this year and that it's my official entry into the Festival of Witches. I'm taking a short little detour from Festival of Witches to do a fall landscape next. Um, but after that, I do have two more kits that I'm hoping to squeeze in for September. And then it'll be drills and chills time. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's post review. Sorry it was a little rambly and not my normal video. I don't know. Feeling a little off today, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.